Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you guys how to get out of Android lock if you forget your lock or something glitches up and this has happened to me once and it took me a long time so I'm going to make this really simple. I'm going to start with three ways, one which works with phones where if you call the phone then you can get out, second which is basically fiddling around with SB settings and then third which is actually going into SSHing if you have open SSH and going into the file, hacking it, changing your passcode, or changing the mode in which it's made. So what we're going to do is first I'm going to show you how to do it by phone. So I'm going to so lock your lock the device, or this is where you'll be. When you hit unlock, let's say you have no idea what to do. So what you can do is I'm going to go on Skype and. I'm calling the phone and then you can tap to go in the call and then if you hold down the home button you can go into the screen and I'm going to turn my volume off so it doesn't double and, and then you can just go into settings, settings and change, and the, change Android the Android lock like that. Like that. Once you do that, you, do you, that, can, you can return to call, return to call and call, and you're out. So basically, that's the first one, but that only works for iPhones, and I know other people are stuck. So I'm going to give you the second method. So you have your iPhone like this, or iPod like this and you don't know what to do. You can slide to go to SP settings, then what to do it before it shuts off. So you hit more button. And sometimes I'll get you out, sometimes it doesn't work. But what works is if you hit the power, uh, I'm gonna shut off to go hit power and then hit safe mode. Then you can go without the lock screen, then you can change it like that. But I'm not gonna do that because that's gonna cancel my recording. So the last way is to SSH and you're going to need some way to find your IP address you can find it through SB settings if that sometimes that doesn't work which it didn't when I was on my iPad so you'll be in trouble but hopefully you'll be able to find it so what you're going to do is go in here and you're going to see that right here one sec right here you can see your IP address so what you're going to do is open up uh, SSH client, we'll be using Fugu, you can learn how to do this, just search, if you don't know what SSHing is, just look on YouTube how to SSH iPod Touch or iPhone and you'll be able to do this really quickly. So we can see that the address is 192.168.0.101. So you're going to type the username, which is root port 22, and then directory. For the directory, we're going to use You're going to find the file called com.zmaster android lock plist. Basically, uh, you're going to download the file. I already have it. You'll just download the file. You have to keep your iDevice on whenever you want to make transfers. And now you're going to open up the plist. So, So you can see you're in the plist editor, you need something to edit a plist, and you can see that this is a pattern. So each dot, I'll quickly show you, like this to this would be one, two. So 
this dot is 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that's what you're going to need to change. So if you have the slide to unlock problem where it won't let you do the top digits and you, your code starts the top digits on on your iPad, you, you could just change it to the bottom one. It's like, it's like um, 7, 8, 9, 6 and that will be narc. But if you... If, if the lock is working but you just can't find out the combination and none of these is working, you could just change it into your custom thing. If you try one, two, three, six, that should work fine. So just do one, two, three, six, or anything that you want to do. If you want to follow the example, just do one, two, three, six. And once you do that, you just hit save. Then you go back to Fugu, turn your iPod on, drag your file in, and hit overwrite. Then what you're going to need to do is, on your device, you're going to need a respring. So now that you have that, and that's I had to cut because it stopped the, the displayer so you couldn't see my iPad. So basically, now you have that, just tap on unlock, then you go 1 to 2 to 3 to 6. When you do that, it will unlock and then you can go into Android Lock and change things the way you want. Hopefully one of these three methods work for you. If you have any questions regarding harder fixes, put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And if this helped, please subscribe. We'll have tons more videos. Probably the one if you have Android Lock, probably be the type of videos that you'll like. So thanks for watching and please subscribe.